Good morning everyone. Our today's topic is relationships in tables. We know that a database stores multiple tables which may be linked to each other. For example, in the context of a school database, there may be different tables like student details which contain the details of the student, marks details which contains the details of the marks, library details which may contain the details of the library, the books issued and submitted and so on. So all these tables are stored together in the same database. As tables of a database relate to same context, they somehow store linked data. Linked data means the data which is related to each other. To use the linked data in multiple tables, we need to create the relationships among the tables in the database. So, we can define relationships as the links that associate two tables through a common field. A relationship effectively join two tables. For example, you can see here three different tables. The first table stores the serial number, admission number, name, father's name, mother's name, date of birth, address, contact number, caste and gender of the student. Here the admission number is the primary key because it is unique for every student. In the second table we had stored admission number and marks in various subjects. Here we are not storing the name of the student, his class, his father's name, mother's name and other details again. We are linking these two tables using the field admission number. Here, admission number is the foreign key. So, when I need to know the marks of the student Ajit, I would find the admission number 4501 in the marks details. And with the help of this admission number, I can search for the marks of Ajit. Similarly, we have the third table in which we have returned the book's details. The, number of, the name of the book issued, the date issued and the date of submission. So, I can find out Ajit has issued which book using the field admission number. So, every time I am not storing the name, surname and other details of the student, only the field admission number help us to retrieve the data. So, this way we can relate the tables. Now, in the database, there can be three types of relationships. The first is one to one, second one to many and third many to many the first type of relationship is one to one relationship in a one to one relationship each record in a table a can have only one matching record in table b and each record in table b can have only one matching record in table a in this given example we can assume the table on the left side is table A and table on the right side is table B. Here in this example, the first table is for the various projects. Different projects and their project ID are there along with the roll number of the student who had made that project. In the second table, the details of different students, their roll number, name, class and date of birth is given. We can understand from this that each project is created by one student or only one student has created one project. It is not possible that one student has created two projects or a project is created by two different students. Here there is one to one relationship, one project, one student, one student, one project. So, such type of relationship is called as one to one relationship in open office base. Next is one to many relationship. In one to many relationship, a record in a table A can have many matching records in table B. But a record in table B has only one matching record in table A. To understand this, consider the given example. Here, the relationship between the class teachers and the students is shown. The record of the class teachers is shown in the table teachers 
with the teacher ID and name as the fields and the student record is shown in the second table the name of the student, roll number, class and teacher ID is shown. It may be possible that a teacher may be class teacher of many students. That means you can see here the teacher ID 103 is class teacher of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 roll number. But it is not possible that one student has two class teachers. So such a relation is one to many relationship. You can see the teacher ID field in the student table. Everywhere it is 103. It means this 103 teacher has many students. In one to many relationship, the one side table is called the parent table and the many side table is called the child table. Means the table which has one that is one is called as parent table and the table which has many is called as the child table. Take another example. Here you can see there is one record in the table first table A. But for one student we can have many records in the table B where we have the details of the book issued to the student. You can see admission number 4501 has two books issued that is 5672 and 6543. So for one student we have many books issued but we cannot have one book issued to many students. So it is also one to many relationship. The third type of relationship is many to many relationship. Many to many means many records in first table corresponds to many different records in table B and many different records in table B corresponds to many records in table A. For such a relationship it is possible only by defining a third table called the junction table. Now consider the example given here. We have the relationship between teachers and the subject that teachers are teaching. We can have many teachers teaching the same subject and it may also be possible that same subject may be taught by different teachers. For example, there may be two teachers teaching English and it may be possible that one teacher is teaching more than two subjects. She may be teaching English, she may be teaching social science. So here it is many to many relationship. You can see in this given example, one teacher is teaching more than two subjects and this relationship is managed by a teacher subject junction table. Our next topic is referential integrity. Referential integrity is a set of rules that a DBMS uses to ensure that relationship between the records in related tables are valid and that users do not accidentally delete or change the related data. To understand these, we had studied the topic of relationships. Now to maintain the relationships between the tables, it may be one to one, it may be one to many. Now for maintaining these relationships, a DBMS system, a DBMS software uses some rules and these rules are applied so the, these relationships are maintained. These relationships are not violated. These referential integrity rules are followed when the primary table is having a primary key and this primary key is related with other tables. So, when this referential integrity rules are enforced, the following rules are observed. First is, you cannot enter a value in a foreign key field of the related table that doesn't exist in the primary key of primary table. For example, for assign, allotting a book to a student, we cannot allot a book to a student whose admission number is not mentioned in the student details table means there must be one student whose admission number should be the one that we are entering in the book details table. Second is you can't delete a record from primary table if 
matching records exist in related tables means the same case of the book details if there is a book which is allotted to a student we cannot delete the record of that student from the student details table third is you can't change a primary key value in the primary table if that record has related records means if in the book details table if a book is allotted to a student we cannot change his admission number we cannot change the primary key field that is admission number for which a record exists in any other table so these are some of the rules which are enforced when we insert referential integrity hope you understood these topics